Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you guys how to find a z-score without the standard deviation using a GDC and I will explain it with the following question. The masses of watermelons grown on a farm are normally distributed with a mean of 10 kg. The watermelons are classified as small, medium or large. A watermelon is small if its mass is less than 4 kg and 5% of the watermelons are classified as small. So in this question, we have to find the standard deviation of the masses of the watermelons. But we also need to find a z-score for this calculation because it is part of the standardized normal variable equation which is necessary to solve this question. So as you can see here, the equation is standard deviation equal x minus mean over z-score or the other way round. And now let's take a look at the question and see what we can put into the equation. Since we are looking at the watermelons that are small, we can put 4 for the x because a watermelon is small if its mass is less than 4 kg. So for the mean, it is 10 kg as given. So we can just put 10 for the mean. And still, there are two unknowns. But we know that 5% of the watermelons are classified as small, so we can input this into the calculator to find a z-score. First, stats. Number two, distribution F5. Normal distribution F1. Inverse normal F3. For data, set it to variable because you don't have any data input into the calculator. And for the tail, set it to left because we are looking at less than instead of more than. And for area, set it to 0 0.05 because that is 5%. Now here comes the interesting part. Even though we know the mean is 10 kg, but we don't know the standard deviation. So we have to use the standard normal distribution which is 1 for the standard deviation and 0 for the mean. So here we have it, the answer for the z-score. So now we have the z-score. And for this specific question, we can just put the z-score back into the equation and find the standard deviation. But today we are only looking at the z-score. And I will show you how it works. So here is my terrible sketch of the bell curve, which is also known as the normal distribution curve. It is used when a data set center around a central mid value that has no bias to the left or right. It has a symmetry in the middle, which is also the mean value, which means the area above the mean value is 50%. And it is also the same for the area below the mean value. Based on this, we can deduce the percentage of certain areas. For example, the area between negative 1 to 1 is 68%. And you don't really need to calculate it because it is a common sense. Looking back at the sample question, we know 5% of the watermelons are small. So based on that, we can sketch 5% on the standard normal distribution curve to find the z-score with the help of the GDC. Thanks for listening and I will see you in the next video.